you know, the hope is that the research is actually going to translate out to change the world. This journal, The Future of Children, is something I'm very proud of. It's a partnership between the Woodrow Wilson School and the Brookings Institution. Uh, Sarah McClanahan is the editor-in-chief. She's a professor of sociology and public affairs. Cecilia Rouse, who recently came back from Washington where she was in the Council of Economic Advisors for a couple years, is also a senior editor, and I, I am as well, and then two people from Brookings, Ron Haskins and Bell Sawhill. It produces two issues a year, and what we do for every volume is we take a specific topic that's really important for child policy. So I think uh, the, the volumes that were up here, one was on childhood obesity, right? And what we do for these volumes is we invite a series of authors, researchers, to go out and find the very best evidence and write about it in ways that's accessible to policymakers and practitioners. And that gets packaged into a journal. And then after the journal is produced, we don't stop there because most people don't sit around and read journals. But we produce a series of research briefs and we also have practitioners' conferences. So what motivates the Fragile Family Study is the increase in unmarried births. Children born to unmarried parents begin life uh, with many disadvantages and these disadvantages uh, pile up, they accumulate over the first five years of their life. So here are things that we recommend that, uh, that we think would make a difference. The first is to prevent unwed births. We also recommend prison sentencing reform. Irv talked about this just briefly. We specifically recommend that the mandatory sentencing laws be repealed, uh, and especially in the case of nonviolent crime. And then finally, uh, we want to experiment with building strong families. We went to this class and the, the statistics about you know the married couple and the unmarried couple, you know, how much of the benefit for the child. And I took advantage of that. So not just because of that, I did that for I want my child to be, you know, raised to be a man. Immigrant youth represent an incredible opportunity for this country, but they also represent formidable risks. The articles that are, are assembled in the volume Immigrant Children summarize what is known about their living arrangements, their educational attainment, their physical well-being, their social integration, and their economic um, status. Education is the master theme that unifies the entire volume. If immigrant kids have a problem, the nation has a problem. We're talking about our future as a nation. We're talking about having made an investment in young people. We catapulted this country on the backs of immigrants. So partnerships uh, play a role in almost every aspect of the publication of the journal and our outreach activities. So with respect to the publications, uh, the senior editorial team itself involves a partnership between Princeton and the Brookings Institution in D.C. Uh, the authors for each of the chapters are selected to be the best people for the topics, and they come from different institutions, including universities and think tanks. When we do our author's conference in Princeton to vet the papers, we always invite policymakers and practitioners. Then after the publication of the journal, we have a number of partnerships that facilitate the outreach. So the first is an outreach event that's held at the Brookings Institution in D.C. And that involves media, journalists, uh, advocacy groups in D.C. who come to hear about the, the journal. Following that, we have a practitioners event in Princeton that focuses on practitioners from the Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and New York City areas. And this is very practitioner focused. And then finally, we do road shows where we take the materials that have been put together for the different outreach events and we sort of co-sponsor them with a child um, organization, some child advocacy organization in different parts of the country. So you can see that the partnerships and the collaborations are really an essential part of everything that we do with the journal. Mm -hmm.